all right everyone hello and welcome back to the channel all right now so here's some info that i got from my good friend jennifer and jennifer thank you for the info now the info deals with the frauditor that we all know as annapolis audits aka terence tracy <laughs> and let me say guys uh, good news okay good news whereas uh, he is now a fugitive on the run yes another direct d another one who was uh pushing people's buttons, pushing uh, law enforcement officers, public employees, as well as the public, okay? And now that's come back to bite them in the ass. Hey, let me say, guys, that a lot of these newbies, and I tell you guys, whether you guys may notice it or not, every day there's another asshole, yes, a-hole, okay? Let me clean it up a little bit. That uh, has been watching these knuckleheads for quite some time and saying, hold on, I have a cell phone with a camera app. I can go out there and make some quick, easy money by harassing our uh, public employees, our uh, uh, law enforcement officers, and it's even gotten to the point of the public. And that public is me and you guys, okay? So, again, uh, something that started off as holding the government accountable has gotten to the point where they're harassing anybody everybody because that's the way it is uh the the youtube fame as well as the money it goes to their heads and again watching others like sean the long island flooded who in my opinion is making a shitload of money off of uh, screwing and harassing people Hey, they've watched this shit for quite some time. They want to get that quick, easy money and that YouTube fame. And they don't think about the consequences. Look at Terrence here. He had a court date today. A court date that he uh, didn't, uh, didn't make his appearance, okay? And again, I say, now he is on the run. And that even sucks when you get caught out there. Just the fact that uh, when you go in front of that judge, I don't see them giving them bail anymore. The opportunity to bail himself out, I should say. Hey, listen, you had a court appearance, you didn't show up, you ran. Hey, now it's you got to stay locked up until your case is over. And let's just say that uh, our good uh, our good fraudity here, Terrence, had, uh, what was it, trespass, uh, public agency after hours. As a matter of fact, I, I'm going to put the video up, guys, that actually got him into problems. Okay? And um, again, as you can see on your screen here, these four charges, hey, he thought it was a joke. He thought it was a joke. And again, it's coming back to bite him in the ass. Let's get into the video that uh, bit him in the ass, guys. Alrighty, squad. So, what's going on today? What's going on today? It's Friday, July 15th at 3.05 p.m. We are back in downtown Annapolis to stop at one of our favorite locations. One of our most frequent locations. The old Annapolis City Hall. It's been over two weeks since I was last here. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. As always, Eric's sitting over there in his little King of the Castle chair. Enter by appointment only into the lobby now. Apparently you need an appointment to drop off a public information act request. Huh. That's funny because that's not true. There needs to be an agent of the state here during business hours on a business day to accept it. See, there's no doorbell to ring either, huh? Because I'll just have to knock. Now, see, there's the doorbell right there. It says, please ring for service, which means this area is open to the public, and you ring the bell if there's not somebody at the window to help you. But, yeah, this knocking on the door shit... Now, 
wish I had a coin like someone said. Can't understand why nobody would be here on a business day during business hours. Maybe we should call for a wellness check. Alright, so let me pause the video here where if you uh, paid attention to what came out of his mouth in the beginning of the video that uh, he's been to this location numerous times. Oh, let me say guys, I've been watching this knucklehead here from when he first started frauditing and uh, he's been to this city hall more than a dozen times, okay? And let me say, every uh, encounter that he had with uh, public employees as well as the, the guard that's there... He treats them like shit. He talks to them. He belittles them. That uh, I think they've gotten to the point. Uh, we've heard uh, how these frauders like to say that they're out there making changes in these locations. Yeah, the changes they're making that you hear these city halls, they're uh, revamping their security. Okay, they're changing things around where uh, it's going to be a son of a gun to get into these locations. So these individuals that uh, uh, their supporters think that they're out there making some good improvements. No, they're, they're, the shit that they're doing is going to affect everybody in a negative way, okay? And they brought that shit upon all of us, okay? So, uh, he talks a lot of shit. All frauditors talk a lot of shit when they say they go into these locations to uh, to make changes and so on. Now, again, uh, the treatment that you will see he gets here where nobody wants to open the door for him, again, I'm going to say he brought that shit upon himself. Now, you just heard him make a comment uh, that he's going to make a uh, call for wellness check. Well, that's where that false statement, that's the second charge you see there. False statement to an officer okay be called i think he called like three times okay for a wellness check because nobody wanted to open the door in the mayor's office okay that's the stupidity you're gonna hear how he's giggling and all that as if it's a joke it's gonna come back and bite him in the ass let's get back to the video that's funny you guys will try and hide from me as opposed to just doing your jobs You'll literally hide in the stairwell. Look at that, they'll sit in the dark. They'll sit in the dark as opposed to just helping as opposed to doing the bare minimum of their job requirements, they'll now sit in the dark. And she questioned my mental stability? Huh. How's that working out, Count Dracula? Hey, Count Chocula, how's that working out? All right, so let me jump back in here real quick because uh, when I did my little take on this uh, video when he uh, got into problems last year, I did point out this uh, little section here where uh, he made comments that the individual employee didn't want to help him out. You know, uh, she turned the light off and so on. Now, uh, uh, the video, I was looking for the video. I couldn't find it, but I commented. I said, you know, the lady, you could tell she was on the break. Uh, for you to expect her to uh, uh, just jump jump at your beck of call or whatever, I thought that was inappropriate, okay? I didn't see anything wrong in what she did. But now why I stop it here again is because I didn't realize uh, when I did the video that little comment that he made about Count Chocula, where I think another channel called him out as uh, um, being racist. Now I didn't see it that way, but seeing it again the second time now, uh, watching it over again, I don't know. You guys tell me, does it sound like he's being racist here? I didn't see it that way. But the fact that another channel called it out and I said, damn it, now I'm looking at it. And yeah, I think you could kind of take it as he was being racist. No, but uh, comment that. Let me know. I want to know your, th your thoughts on it, let's say. They all just run. You see them all just run. Jesus.
Look at him lock the door. Oh God, watch out. Oh, lock the door. He's so scary. He's got a camera. He might expose us. He might expose us. Man, I'm starting to get real worried. I'm gonna have to call for a wellness check. The mayor hasn't answered the door in five times. Maybe something, maybe something very serious happened behind these doors. Maybe somebody's hurt or injured and Life Alert can't get to them. Maybe I should call for a wellness check since no one's ever here to do their job or answer the door. Hi, I'm, I'm looking to get uh, an officer dispatched out here into the field. I need someone for a wellness check, please. In the field, I'm on Duke of Gloucester Street down here at City Hall. Okay. Their calls are also recorded, so this is not felony wiretapping. Just to let you know, I'm also recording this call, so there's no felony wiretapping issues. But yeah, I'm calling because I need a wellness check performed out in the field, please. You said where is the uh, wellness check? Uh, I'm at City Hall on Duke of Gloucester Street. Okay, that's where you want a wellness check? Yes, sir. Yep. Yeah, I've been here five times and no one's answered this door, so I'm getting really worried. I'm getting, I'm getting worried maybe something happened to someone behind the door. Okay, what's your name? I'm a, a concerned citizen. Okay. Um, do you think that the business is just closed? No, no, sir. This is during business hours on a business day. We're at City Hall. This is, this is not, it's not a private business. They don't get to choose when they want to help people. This is what my tax dollars go for. So somebody should be here. No one's ever here. So I'm getting real worried. Maybe something happened to the mayor. They haven't returned any of my emails or phone calls either, so I'm getting very worried about them, sir. Okay, I'll send somebody Thank you. Appreciate it. Bye-bye. Oh, I'm not looking for entry. I'm not, I'm not looking for entrance. I'm just looking for help on the downstairs issues. I don't need to enter the door. I just need help from the people behind it. That's all. Well, in the meantime, I guess we'll go back downstairs and see if anybody's at the office of law. I'd hate to have to perform a wellness check down there, too. Mr. Eric, what's going on, man? Are people hurt? Are people lost? What's going on around here? Where is everybody? I'm getting real scared, man. I'm getting real worried. Maybe something happened to everybody. I'd hate to find out something happened to people and no one's doing anything about it. Oh, God. Oh. Mr. Lyles, are you okay? Mr. Lyles, sir, are you okay? I'm worried about you, sir. Oh, God. Oh. In the office of law, no one's answering the doors. I'm awfully worried something happened to them. You don't seem too worried though. Oh gosh, no one's worried. No one's worried. Oh man. What are we gonna do? They need to hurry up and get here. Someone's life could hang in the balance. Maybe they just, uh, maybe they just lost consciousness and they've woken back up now. That or maybe, maybe they were just taking a big old poop. Maybe they were just taking a big poop. Maybe that was it. I need to remember that people do need to go to the bathroom, Terry. Maybe they were using the bathroom. I'm sure if everything was okay, you guys wouldn't let me worry like this. Hi, I called over 30 minutes ago for some help, but I'm starting to get real worried. People might be in danger here. At the City Hall on Duke of Gloucester Street, ma'am, I called for a wellness check and no one showed up yet. If somebody, if somebody's in danger and they need medical assistance, these, these few moments could be crucial.
I, well, ma'am, I don't know if they need medical assistance. That's why I'm calling for a wellness check first. All right, hold on. Thank you. Hi, I'm calling to check on the status of the wellness check that I requested. I'm getting real worried if something happened to these people, they might they might need help fast. Inside City Hall? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I checked on them. They're fine. No, no. No one came here to check on them yet, sir. No, I called them. No, no. We need a wellness check out here, sir. No one's answering the door. Something's wrong. Someone could have hacked the cell phone uh, lines, sir. They need to come physically check, sir. Oh, I'm so worried something might be happening here, sir. Zero oh. check, and everything's fine. Sir, it's not fine. I'm here, and no one's answering the door to help me, sir. Something must not be fine. Oh. Is there a sign out front that says you need to make an appointment? No, sir. There's no sign out front that says I need to make an appointment to exercise my First Amendment rights, sir. I'm trying to receive public information and drop off a public information act request, sir. And you don't need to make an appointment to do that. Oh, that's why I'm worried. Sir, there's nothing wrong there. There must be, sir. They're not answering the door. Oh, oh can I have your name and badge number, sir? Sure, 4626 and Prout. P-R-O-U-T. Prout 4626? Officer Prout 4626, I'm really worried something may have happened out here. Nobody's answering the door or the phones when I call, and I need help. Oh. You need help, specifically outside. Yes, I need help, and no one's answering the door, so I'm worried that something happened to them, sir. What do you, what do you need help with, sir? It's none of your business what I need help with, sir. Your business is the fact that no one's answering the door, and I'm worried about their health and safety, sir. Oh, well then maybe you can tell them to open the door and let everyone else here know they're fine, sir. Because what they're doing right now is actually a crime, law enforcement officer. And I'd hate to know that you were being complicit in allowing them to violate federal statutes, sir. Hello, Officer Prout? I'm here, sir. I'm worried, sir. You didn't answer me. Are you complicit in allowing them to violate federal statutes, sir? Because that in itself would be a violation of 18 U.S. Code 241, sir, conspiring to suppress my rights. I'm so worried. Oh. I'm worried about them, sir. Sir, like it. I've been here five times and they haven't answered the door, sir. I'm so worried. You can't put an appointment on First Amendment protected activities, sir. My tax paying dollars go to make sure this service is provided for me when I come in here during business hours on a business day, Officer Prout 4626. And if no one's answering the door, then it must mean something's happened because I would never think that they would just blatantly not help one of their constituents or citizens. I would never like to think that they would just lock the door and not help someone exercising rights. As a government official, that would be horrible. Have you tried calling them again? Yes, sir, I've called. I've spoken to the chief of staff. I've sent emails. I've talked to my aldermen. I've talked to the chief of staff. I've spoken to the secretary and the liaisons before. And now no one's answering, and I'm worried, sir. Well, sir, I don't know if there's anything. You can send an officer out here for a wellness check, sir. How do you know that somebody behind the door isn't a robber or a vigilante that just answered the phone and told you they were okay, sir? That's part of a wellness check. That's why it's called a check and not a wellness phone call, sir. Oh. Is there anything else I can help you with? Yeah, I need a wellness check out here at City Hall in Duke of Gloucester. I'm getting so worried. Something might have happened to the city officials, sir. Oh, okay. Your call. okay have a good day. All right, I'm going to call right back, sir. You can sit there and hang up on me if you want. I'm going to call back for as many wellness checks as I need. Oh, nope, I called. They said they're good. <laughs>
Yeah, this time I won't be dumb enough to walk outside to talk to the officer and let them try to not let me back in the door, so... We're gonna stay on the inside of the door this time during business hours. All right, so let me pause the video here, whereas uh, the next part of the video is where the burglary charge comes into play. Now, I did cut out a lot for time reasons or whatsoever, and um, I will put a link to the original video in the description for those of you that may want to watch it. Some of you probably never saw this video, okay? But this is the video that brought him down, that got him into problem that now he's a fugitive on the run. So again, I say I will put a link to the, uh, the video in the description because like I said, I did cut out a lot of it because I didn't want to go over a certain amount of time and uh, I, I think there were some parts there that were juicy, but again, I tell you, there's a lot that I want to do. I want to say and I want to put and it just goes to around 45 minutes to an hour and I already know most people don't want to see that and you know, so you try to put as uh, the most important things in there and whatever. I think you guys get the drift there. Hey, let me know your thoughts on the video, guys. Hey, another fugitive on the run. Oh. I'm sorry, what? You gonna do what to me? Get out the building. You gonna do what to me, bro? Get out the building. I'm sorry, you gonna smack the shit out of me? That's leave. what your dumb ass just leave, said? Leave out the building. Go ahead, come back in here and do it, bro. I'm not scared of you or anybody, dog. You want to threaten me, dog? What's up? You want to threaten me, bro? What's up? I'm standing right here, dog. I'm standing right here in front of your face. You want to threaten me? Go ahead and do it, bro. Go ahead and do it. Yeah, tough guy. Pull me back, son. Pull me back, son. Come on. You have to leave the building. I called the police. You have to they leave the building. They said it's right after 4 for him, sir. You have to leave the building. It's after 4 30. Close. Unfortunately, ma'am, I already spoke to the police officers and informed them of where I was sitting, and they said someone was coming out to help me. So I'm going to wait where I told the police officers I was waiting at so they don't think I'm absconding. If he's upset about being here after hours, then he should have given me help in the first hour and a half that I was here. But I don't appreciate someone from upstairs saying they're going to smack the shit out of me and coming at me in a threatening manner. Watch the video. You'll see it. Yeah, you're right, because you don't want to see the ignorance that goes on in your building. You don't want to watch your own bullshit. You have to leave the building. For the last I'm time. waiting for the police here. You wait for the police outside the No, I'm waiting right here in the lobby, sir. Did he call the police? I called the police twice. So this is the type of car he drives. I don't know who he is, but he wanted to open the door and try to get big on somebody and threaten them. What's up? I'll hold the door open for you if you want to come over here. Leave the building. Don't touch me, sir. Leave the building. Don't, don't touch me, sir. Don't touch me, sir. Don't touch me, sir. Leave the building. have to have. Don't touch me, sir. Leave the building. Don't touch me, sir. Leave the building. Don't, don't touch me, sir. Don't, don't touch me, sir. Don't touch me, sir. Don't touch me, sir. Don't touch me, sir. 